First class rank requirement, 7A. Demonstrate bandages for a sprained ankle and for injuries on the head, the upper arm, and the collarbone. Bandaging a sprained ankle. First, use a compression bandage and wrap it around the foot and then in a crossing pattern around both ankle and the foot. If the person must continue walking or hiking, you can use this wrap over the boot. If possible, treat with rice, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Make sure that you do not tie the bandage too tight, so check the toes often to make sure they're not turning purple or that they've lost circulation. The toes should be pink and continue to have feeling. Bandaging a head injury. Start with a triangular bandage, shaped like your scout neckerchief. Place gauze on the wound if it's bleeding, and add pressure if that doesn't stop the bleeding, or at least slow it. You may need to add more than one gauze. First, make a one-inch fold on the long end of the triangle, and then wrap it around the head. Keep pressure on any wound. Use the bandage to continue that pressure. Tie the bandage in the back. Now remove any victim that you suspect has a spinal injury. Bandaging and splinting an upper arm fracture. Start with two slings and a splint. You may need two splints. First, splint the arm to immobilize it. So make sure that the splint goes both above and below the break in the arm. Then place the hand in a sling with the hand two to three inches above the elbow. Make sure that the sling is wrapped comfortably around the neck. Finally, use the second sling to secure the splinted arm to the body so that it does not move. So you'll wrap the sling around both the splinted arm and underneath the non-injured arm. Do not tie it too tightly, but secure it enough so that the arm does not move. Bandaging a collarbone or shoulder injury. You will need two slings. First, place the hand in a sling with the hand two to three inches above the elbow of the other arm. Finally, use the second sling to secure the arm of the injured collarbone to the body so that it does not move. This is the most important part as the movement of the collarbone is what causes the pain. In all of these cases, after you have bandaged the injury, seek medical attention. This has been Scatter Rob. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and contact us below with our email address. Happy scouting!